Welcome to another theory video. This is on CSEC IT. So I hope you learned something in the process. Let's go. So welcome to fundamentals of computer hardware and software. This is basically exactly what it says. Fundamentals of computer hardware and software. Let's begin. Okay, so a computer is an electronic machine that manipulates data according to a set of instructions called a program. So first thing you have to remember is that a computer is totally electronic. All the computer does is it interprets ones and zeros. Later on, when we get to digital um, signals, we'll understand how the ones and zeros actually work. But just keep in mind right now that a program is really just a bunch of ones and zeros, and a computer just manipulates electricity a lot better than any other machine ever created. In order for a computer to work, you need hardware and software. So hardware is the physical part of the computer. Software would be the programs or virtual. Virtual means that you can't see it and you can't actually touch it. So think of you, a human. You'll need to get accustomed to my stickman drawings because that's the best drawing I could actually do. Inside a human's head is a brain. Yes, that is a brain. The brain has things that happen that, that will go on inside of it that nobody knows. It's just a bunch of like signals, electrical signals. And that brain could tell your hand to lift a weight so that you get muscles or to kick somebody or to point a finger, right? That's a finger there, right? So the brain would be considered software and the hardware would be considered all the other parts of your body, which would be like your muscles or your feet, hands, those sorts of things, right? So this diagram here called Input Process Output or IPO is basically how every single computer system works. A computer system is similar to the human system where we get inputs, we process it and we get output. So sometimes you might get an input of um, a hot pot that's on the stove, you touch the pot, your brain processes it as this is hot, it will harm my hand, and you pull it away. That's input process output. So, look at this. Inputs are the devices that we use, like keyboard, mouse, speakers, no, not speakers, microphone. Speakers would fall under output. So we would put an input and then the CPU would process it and then we would get an output. Sometimes we need to store things. So the input will go into the CPU like this. CPU has two friends, the CU and the ALU, which we'll talk about just now, and then main memory. Main memory would store the information kind of short term and secondary storage will store it in long term. So let's think of something that would happen five minutes ago. Five minutes ago, you'd easily be able to remember it because the main memory holds it. But something that happened four years ago would actually be stored in secondary storage and you'd have to kind of go back into the archives or need some picture or like a book to remember what happened. How these storages work, we'll get into just now. But just remember, there's an input. It goes into the CPU. The CPU processes it. Sometimes it may need to go down and store it. But sometimes it may temporarily store it and then it will come out and give you an output. That's an IPO diagram. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So, um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.